Welcome to the Zram YouTube channel. My name is Daniel. And today I wanted to talk about the Z68S projectiles. These are the new ones, not to be confused with the Z68V2. I wanted to talk to you guys about the difference in the new Z68S projectiles and what markers you can use them with and anything else you need to be aware of. First of all, let's take a closer look at the projectile. As you can see, this is quite a bit more pointed than the V2. The angle here is a lot more acute, it's 80 degrees, and this one's 100 degrees. And besides, this one isn't quite as pointed at the front as this one. This one's really sharp like an arrow or something. The weight is 9 to 9.5 grams, also a very good weight. These here have a weight of 8.5, we also have them in the shop as a 10 gram version. What you should definitely keep in mind here is that the Z68V2, it's like that you can't put anything more pointed than this here in the FSC, Tiberius FSC, without changes. We've already got the best out of it, that's why they are so popular with you and are absolutely our best sellers. We managed to make it even sharper with these Z68S here, and still you can use them in Tiberius FSC or TCP. But you have to consider a few things. And I think that in order to fire a projectile like this, a few little things that you have to take care of are not a big deal. Most importantly, these are 20 millimeters long, including the tip. And these are only 17.34 millimeters long. Of course, these 2 to 3 millimeters longer projectiles don't just fit in everywhere. So we have to take a look at the individual markers, where they fit in, how they fit in, and what else you have to consider. And first of all, let's take a quick look at the Tiberius FSC TCP. I've already made a video about it, in which I presented the 20 gram magazine to you. And you can put all four sizes of the CO2 capsules here in, of 8, 12, 16 and 20 grams, but the capsules must be without a thread, they all fit in here. The mag already contains our mag mode, but comes without these valves, springs and screws. Just this little extra screw here is included. Otherwise you just take everything from your original magazine. The Z68S projectiles fit into these magazines. As you can see here, they fit in really well, slide through really well. With the normal standard magazine, they don't fit in. This is very important, so if you want to use the Tiberius FSC with these projectiles, you absolutely need our Z magazine. Second, when using the Z68S, you have to remove this spring here in front, and this pin here in front, you just leave that out. This only hinders the projectile trying to get into the barrel. Now you're probably wondering how am I supposed to load the magazine and then insert it into the gun without the projectiles, all flying out at the top. 
and I recommend that you do it like this. You slide this down here, hook it down here. Then you fill the magazine, They are in here now. Then you load the gun and then you can let go of this. This is now slid up, loaded, and holding anything and everything well. Then we have this slip cover here, or rather we had this cover with us before. It's firm and you can slide it over it. But that's just not possible, if you've pulled this down here. You can't separate the slip cover over it anymore, and you have to load it first and then put the cover around it. Which isn't possible with this one. That's why in all new orders when you order the magazine you don't get this slip cover. You get this cover here. It can be opened on the side. And then you can put this in here. Press it here and then it's in. Looks great, the Z68s are loaded and then it works. Another very important point, you have to expand the barrels you have in them by 2 mm at this point. That's not much, you go there with a file or with an electric file. Simply file down 2 mm here. You mark this here with a scratch beforehand. And then you file this down here. so that the S projectiles can fall and pass through. If they slip through here without any problems, you can't do anything really wrong here, just file it. Make the whole thing as round as possible. Just so that there is more space here and the slightly longer projectiles fit through. The magazine already has room for the longer projectiles, which means that once you've worked on the barrel, they'll fit, and then you can basically get started. By removing this there won't be any problems with the projectiles, and you can do that with the regular Z68 V2 as well. If you're having any problems with your standard mag, then I recommend you of course also the mag mode which we already have in here. You should definitely build that into your standard magazine if you use the V2, i.e. the normal ones, the V2. And if you then leave them out here, there is nothing that could somehow stand in the way of the projectile. But normally it should work without any problems, that's just a tip I'll give you. If you load the standard magazine here and pull it down like that, then you can slide the whole magazine in completely and don't have to let go here or anything else. This then automatically releases itself and then jumps up. Of course you don't need a cover like that and it works normally with it. In any case, the FSC is then ready to go. We've lengthened the barrel mouth by 2 mm, we've got the magazine, the Z magazine, which can hold the longer projectiles, and then we're good to go. Then you have a really cool projectile that can be fired with a top weapon. The FSC is of course one of the strongest paintball or ram weapons currently available. You can turn the loaded screw here as far as you can and you'll get good results. 
We have now added the 7 inch barrel and this barrel cover, which you can also buy in our shop. Which increases the performance even more. Especially since we have the 20 gram magazine here. That means we have a bit more power coming through here, and the extra power also needs space in the barrel. We also installed our steel chamber here, with the power pin, which also adds a bit of power. There will be further modifications for the FSC, and I will present them later. So, briefly summarized again. For the FSC you need the magazine without these pins, and you have to lengthen the barrel by 2 mm here. Then you can use the Z68S projectiles. So let's move on to the HDR68 now. And it can also fire the Z68S projectiles, but not with the standard drum. As you can see, this is sticking out 2 to 3 millimeters and would not fit in here now. That's why we developed our own drum. And it has several advantages. It is made of TPU, i.e. 3D printing, but very high quality. And with TPU, as you can see, it is elastic. So it's a bit softer, it slightly gives in the projectile. So now you can put the Z68S in here, and they just give in the projectile a little. And as you can see, they fit in perfectly, nothing is sticking out. This opening is a little deeper, deepened by 2 mm, and of course the normal V2 projectiles fit in there without any problems, balls also fit in there and they stay in, as well as all other 68 caliber bullets that you can find in our shop fit in here in this drum. With the standard drum you only have to remove this part here and plug it into the Z drum. It's no big deal. You take a thin screwdriver and you can get in here on the side and slowly lever out the part all around. When that comes out, stick it to the Z drum and press it a little hard. You don't have to glue it either depending on how well it holds up. That's pretty quick. Well, as I said, the Z68 all fit in here. They sit nicely in there, it turns well, everything is fine. So to sum it up again briefly, for the HDR-68, you need our Z-Drum in order to be able to fire the Z-68S projectiles. Otherwise you don't have to change anything, as I said, you can buy it in our shop. We also have an offer where the projectiles and the drum are a bit cheaper in the set. So be sure to check it out. Next we come to the HDS-68, which can also fire the Z-68S slugs, and all without any modifications. You can put this in here quite normally, and then this is in here like this. You should push it one step further. 
so when you put it in, you can feel it when you push it through, that it snaps into place again after a few millimeters. The projectiles are now a little deeper in than normal and they are in place, so they don't fall out here or anything, they are in well, they are a little deeper than normal, and then you can shoot them as usual. And the same goes for the V2 projectiles. Push them a little deeper, like this, and then you can shoot the Z68S projectiles with your HDS as well. In summary, with the HDS you don't need to make any changes, you just have to insert the projectile a bit deeper than normal projectiles, balls or something. This tip is also for many other projectiles that you may have used before, that are also available in our shop, that have not worked with an HDS 68 so far, you can try it out. This allows you to use many projectiles. So, these are the innovations in our shop. We have the Z Magazine for the FSC, which allows firing Z68S projectiles. We have the Z Drum, which allows the Z68S projectiles to be fired with the HDR68. And there will be other innovations coming in the next few weeks for the FSC. And then we will also make a video about it and will then also do a few shooting tests there and show how the Z68S projectiles behave with the markers and how the Z magazine performs with the various C02 capsules. We will show it in the upcoming videos. Also, we're going to be taking the HDR 68 in the upcoming videos and tuning it completely and see what we can get out of there. This time I will convert the whole thing to HPA with the new ASA adapter in our shop, where you can connect the bottle directly to the chamber. Then the tuning barrel is installed and the extension to it. It's going to be a long setup with bottle and butt stock and all the trimmings, plus the Z-Drum with the Z68S projectiles, it's going to be a great setup and I'm looking forward to showing you that. Otherwise, this is already a really great setup and with our innovations that are still to come it's going to be a really amazing. So with the two here we will still implement a few things. We have also installed all our tuning here with the HDR50 and with this setup we get 35 joules here, and that only with the 12 gram CO2 capsule. This complete setup, without the marker, but all parts, with the two Z extensions, can be found in our shop, where all parts are available individually or as a set as you wish. And that's what it will be then there will soon be a finished or complete setup for these two markers here. Of course you can also mount the Z extension here or just this ASA adapter. That's it for today's video. Today I introduced you to the Z68S projectiles. And we introduced the new magazine, which can hold anything from 8 to 20 gram capsules, thus increasing performance, and can accommodate the Z68S projectiles. The Z-Drum, which can also accommodate the Z68S projectiles. And for more innovations, subscribe to our YouTube channel, leave a thumbs up there, and then I wish you a lot of fun. You're Daniel from ZRAM.